Josh Dixon off of the Samsung. And I'm here to talk about our new 360 camera that we have. We launched in October, and now what we're showing here at NAB is a, a bunch of new features that we have. This is a 3D 360 <laughs> camera. It has 16 lenses horizontally, eight of them for your left eye, eight of them for your right eye, and then one facing up. One facing up is to cover up any stitch imperfection for the live streaming. What we're showing here at NAB is the live stream production. They're producing it in our booth. If you go down 200 feet or so, you'll see it in the, the Destination Next Theater and you'll have multiple cameras there. And we're switching between all the different cameras. We're bringing in 2D directional cameras. We're bringing in some B-roll. We have presentations that each one of these presenters are presenting. And we augment it all into an enhanced 360 experience. So right here, what you have on the camera essentially for each rig is you have the camera, you have the rig here for a tripod stand, and you'll see these rigs are 360 rigs as opposed to traditional video rigs. You'll have external mics if you have different environments that you might want to um, add additional like wind vanes to, for example, for this external audio. But we also have internal audio directional mics for that spatial awareness so that when you put on the headset you can really feel like you're part of this environment. We bring in external mics through inputs, stereo inputs, two-line inputs. We have underneath a way to uh, store 17 videos onto a single SD card, and it's a single file it results in. We also have an external USB, uh, USB Type-C interface for an SSD. Uh, record time on an SD card is about an hour and 40 minutes, uh, 256 gigs. If you go to a, a, a two terabyte SSD, you get about 13 hours of record time at the highest resolution. Each one of these cameras are a 2K camera. Once it's finally stitched, you get an output of a 4K per eye. 4K by 2K for your left eye, 4K by 2K for your right eye. The uh, dynamic range is 11.7 stops. It has 70 decibels of sensitivity. We have a 12-bit color sensor. Um, we have the ability to run external battery down to the bottom here, just a traditional Anton Bauer. 150, and that lasts about 12 hours of, of battery life to power the camera. Also, we have an Ethernet cable that comes out of the side, just an RJ45 port coming out of the base of the camera, down to a, a wireless router so that you can wirelessly control and stream the camera, or down to you can have a mobile app. And over here in the corner, you'll be able to see the mobile app interface on the wall here. We have it on our monitor, 32-inch monitor. And you'll be able to individually with your mobile phone remotely control and configure the camera and be able to set exposure rates, adjust the frame rates, set any of the settings that you want to do so when you hit record, you're not physically touching the camera to hit record and, and stop. Once you do hit record and once you do stop it and now you're done with your production, you come over and you can post-produce it. And when you have a post-production software, we have some new features built in to allow stitch line adjustments. We now can keyframe it so that each frame, you can adjust that stitch line. You can go in and adjust the interval. You can adjust the depth map behind it. Um, you can adjust the ability to go through the, the footage and adjust where you want to trim off the front, trim off the back. You can add stabilization. We have a gyroscope and accelerometer built into the camera that enhances that, that stabilization feature so you're not using just the optical uh, sensor information, you're also using the digital sensor information from those, those uh, different sensors that we have on the camera. Once you then finally produce it, you can send it to Adobe Premiere, you can uh, send it out to a traditional editing software to do the remainder part of the workflow. What we're showcasing here is the live stream flow where you have the stitching workflow, goes from the camera to a PC, stitches it, goes out SDI to a multi-viewer. From the multi-viewer, then you can see all your different inputs. Then it goes from the multi-viewer over to a switcher. Your switcher then will switch between the different various cameras that you have out there. It'll also add some graphics. You can add effects, you can add whatever you need to in. You add in the audio, and then you bring it in, encode it, send it out to the cloud, bring it then down. And behind us, what we have here is we have how we're coming down to the, to the, from the cloud to the individual devices and in headset, you're able now to see the live stream. Over here we have the Gear VR and inside the Gear VR you put it on and then you'll be able to see that live stream. And as you can see, as I move my head around, you can see on the display here the augmented content that came into the video feed. And 
on this side, what we're showcasing is our Odyssey HMD, where we, well, let me show you this one over here. And it's the same kind of concept, but this is pre-recorded content. Video Guys is available Monday through Friday. Give us a call at 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter to stay connected with all of our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.